Hello and welcome to the Electro Master channel. In today's video, I'll be guiding you through the process of testing capacitors using one of the most accurate ESR measurement tools, the Atlas ESR60. Together, we'll learn what a capacitor is, how it works, its role in circuits, and how we can correctly test it. At the end, I will show you a small experiment. A capacitor is an essential component in almost any electric or electronic circuit. Essentially, it stores energy in the form of an electric field, making it particularly useful for functions like stabilizing voltage, filtering out noise, blocking DC current, and decoupling in electronic circuits. There are several types of capacitors, each with unique roles and properties. Electrolytic capacitors, these are often used for larger capacitances, such as in power supply circuits where stable voltage is required. They are polarized, so they need to be installed correctly, with attention to their plus-minus orientation, and they typically work with direct current, DC. Capacitors for alternating current, AC these are designed to handle the frequent alternation of current and are commonly used in high-power applications like power distribution networks and various electronic filters. Ceramic, mica, or polypropylene capacitors, these capacitors are used in high-frequency circuits, such as in radio or audio circuits, and are very stable. Multiples and submultiples of capacitance, the capacitance of a capacitor is measured in farads, F, but in most common applications, we use submultiples, microfarads, F, equals 10 to the power of negative 6 farads, nanofarads, NF, equals 10 to the power of negative 9 farads, picofarads, PF, equals 10 to the power of negative 12 farads. Role of capacitors in an electric circuit, voltage stabilization, in power supply circuits, capacitors reduce voltage fluctuations and ensure a steady supply. Noise filtering, capacitors filter out high-frequency noise, providing additional protection to sensitive components. Blocking direct current, DC a capacitor can block DC, while allowing alternating current, AC, to pass through. Timing in circuits, combined with resistors, a capacitor can create a simple timer in various electronic circuits. Capacitors should be selected according to their working voltage specification. For example, a 16V capacitor is suitable for circuits with a voltage of 16V or lower. It's essential not to use underrated capacitors, as they can fail quickly. Now, let's talk about the Atlas ESR60, an excellent tool for measuring electrolytic capacitors. This device not only measures capacitance but also ESR, equivalent series resistance, giving us a clear picture of the capacitor's health. With the ESR60, we can quickly detect whether a capacitor is worn out or defective, even without removing it from the circuit in some cases. The Atlas ESR60 stands out for high precision, very accurate measurements, even at low ESR values, giving us the assurance we need to detect any hidden issues with the capacitor. Ease of use, the clear display and intuitive menu make measurements accessible to anyone, including beginners. Versatility, it can measure ESR at various capacitance values, making it ideal for maintaining complex electronic equipment. With this device, only electrolytic capacitors with values starting from 1 microfarad can be measured. For values below this, I use a digital multimeter. Next, I'll demonstrate how to test different capacitors using this device and see how it performs in action.
Now I will show you how to measure the capacitance of capacitors smaller than 1 microfarad using a digital multimeter. These smaller capacitors are often used in high-frequency circuits or timing circuits, where precise capacitance values are critical. First, I set the multimeter to capacitance measurement mode. The multimeter will display the capacitance value, which I will check to ensure it matches the expected value for this component. Now I'm going to show you a small demonstration of how an electrolytic capacitor stores electrical current. I will use a capacitor with a voltage rating of 400 V direct current. I will use a rectifier bridge and a 230 volt alternating current power supply. I will connect the capacitor to the positive and negative terminals of the rectifier bridge.
I will now connect the cable to the AC terminals of the rectifier bridge, which will be connected to the 230 volt alternating current power supply. Let's see what happens, I will connect it to the power. At the terminals of the capacitor, we have 335 volts direct current. I will disconnect it from the power supply. I will short circuit the terminals of the capacitor. Warning, do not attempt this at home if you do not have the necessary knowledge, there is a risk of electric shock. As you can see, the capacitor remains charged with electrical current. Now, let me conclude this small experiment by explaining the behavior of the capacitor. Capacitors are designed to store electrical energy in the form of an electric field when voltage is applied across their terminals. In this experiment, we observed that even after disconnecting the capacitor from the power supply, it retained a significant voltage, in this case, 335 volts DC. This phenomenon occurs because the electric charge is held between the capacitor plates, and it can take some time for that charge to dissipate, especially if the capacitor is of high capacitance. The ability of a capacitor to hold its charge allows it to be used in various applications, such as smoothing out voltage fluctuations in power supplies, filtering signals in audio equipment, and storing energy in timing circuits. However, it's important to handle charged capacitors with care, as they can release their stored energy quickly, potentially causing electric shock or damage to components if not properly discharged. In summary, the experiment demonstrated the fundamental property of capacitors to store energy and highlighted their importance in electrical circuits. Thank you for joining me in this experiment. Today, we explored the fascinating behavior of capacitors, specifically how they store electrical energy and retain charge even after being disconnected from a power source. If you found this video informative and engaging, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Electro Master channel for more exciting experiments and tutorials on electronics. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. I appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep experimenting and stay safe.